amidst two press conferences last week. People are having a stir around this particular fight. And as they stir for this particular fight, there are questions that come to mind. And it's simply for the behavior of one fighter in particular. And that fighter happens to be Ryan Garcia. What is going on? People are wondering about Garcia as he's entering an opportunity to challenge Devin Haney for his WBC 140 pound junior welterweight title coming up in April. But one question that should be asked that hasn't been asked is, is Ryan trying to pull an April Fool? Ha, let's talk about it. People are questioning and starting to really wonder, is Ryan Garcia okay? There were two press conferences last week, one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. And the second press conference led to more questions being asked and even over the past 48 hours. Today, at the time of this video being made, it is March 3rd, 2024, Sunday. And that latest question fans are asking, is Ryan Garcia okay? Now, that's taken from a Boxing News 24 article. The link will be in the description. However, I have been wondering this about Ryan for a long time, and it was way before he signed to have this potential match April 20th with Devin Haney. Now, the thing about Devin Haney is, Haney is the type of fighter that is seeking out the best of opportunities for legacy building, career defining moments in boxing. He's already now been undisputed at the lightweight division, something that some of the other champions that existed at that division prior to he arriving on the scene had not been able to do. Vasil Lomachenko came closest to it when he had all the titles but refused to face Devin Haney, who was a contending fighter for one of the WBC belts at that division. Lomachenko sought the opportunity for franchise status, which meant that he didn't have to defend against mandatories. He didn't have to defend against challengers outside of whom he may pick and choose, sort of along the lines of the Canelo Alvarez ilk. But here we are. Lomachenko is now titleless. He lost in a title challenge for Devin Haney's undisputed title, which he garnered when he defeated George Cambosos Jr. Now, it's funny how the wheel does turn, isn't it? Because those men were trying to freeze Haney out, including Tiafimo Lopez, 
And it turns out that Devin came out on top and those men are no longer champions in that division. The Cambosos Jr. wins were originally in June of 2022 and then later October of 2022 in Melbourne, Australia. Think about it. He had to travel outside of the country for the opportunity and right to be the man. Vasil Lomachenko didn't have to do that, nor did Tiafima Lopez, who defeated Vasil Lomachenko. Nor did George Cambosos, who defeated Tiafimo Lopez. So Devin has earned his stripes. And with his recent victory in December of 2023 over Regis Prograde, former two-time super lightweight champion, Devin has now become a two-division champion, one-time undisputed, and is still looking for greater dragons to slay. And though a deal couldn't be struck at the time with Sabriel Matias, who is another champion in the division, he is still willing to take on any and all comers, leaving the door open for Tank Davis, Shakur Stevenson, and yes, Ryan Garcia. And since the previous names really didn't express any interest, Garcia was the only one who seemed to nibble at the opportunity. Then he pulled away, having ingratiated himself with the likes of Floyd Mayweather Jr. And that's where things began to get really weird for Ryan. You see, when Floyd gets involved with anything around other fighters, that have the potential to do things great in the sport, he seemingly always throws a monkey wrench into matters. Whether it's a fighter who has a big fight scheduled for a certain date, he may decide he wants to come back with an exhibition around the same date or near the same time with a sim similar venue, if not that very venue. If it's a fighter that is going to garner attention, he will do something. Or even use fighters with his influence, because you know they all respect Floyd, right? He will utilize them to make sure that they don't carry out the plans that are originated, but to do something that is more akin to his liking. My, my, my. We call that hate in present times and when you have such an impressionable fighter like Ryan Garcia what happens is it could play heavy on the fighter's psyche and I have to admit this has played heavy on Ryan's psyche Ryan has been known to be in and out of situations where, even though he has good intent, he doesn't necessarily perform the way he may or should. Ryan has shown us that he intends to stay in the public eye. However, staying in that public eye is something that is contingent upon fighting in the ring and that's where he's kind of fallen off you see when he had his match against Duarte which was in December of 2023 Ryan came back with no controversies in that fight he came out performed well and got the KO victory people were patting him on the back they made fun of his 
Philly shell defense that he had on display that night, but he did fight well and defeat his opponent, who was on a knockout streak. Even Ryan has stated that there was a huge possibility that his own promoter, Golden Boy, and the likes of Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins were angling him for defeat, looking to have him bumped off. They didn't show up at the post-fight press conference, stirring more controversy. But that was in the aftermath of his fight. But this promotion with Devin Haney has seen things go a different way. And that different way is what's really causing people to wonder what is really going on with Ryan. And Devin, who has had his own successes and now is proving also to be a box office success. It doesn't matter what Ryan tries to do because Devin's brand is what it is. And he really doesn't need Ryan. But to have Ryan, who is a former amateur foe, where they fought six times, splitting the bouts between them. But understand, people, that was when they were young kids, pretty much. But they're in the stages of being men now. And when you're a man, the call of responsibility is far greater. They're both 25 years of age. Let's start right there. Their career paths have taken a different turn. Yes, when we look at where they are presently, Devin, who in this promotion would be the A side, huh? A fighter who is in a position to call the shots. He's bringing his current record of 31 and 0 and 15 KOs into this match. And Ryan bringing his record of 24 and 1 with 20 KOs, but not the same type of opposition. He has to dance to Devin's tune. But the experience of being in against Javante Tank Davis and where his first loss came from Ryan learned something about the business of boxing when it comes down to big paydays. So of course, he would take this fight with Devin handily and readily. But that doesn't mean he's prepared for this type of fight. And that's again, where we have to come to the realization of what's truly going down here. Because after those press conferences, as I said, fans are now wondering and confused about his latest posts on social media in which some people thought he was being harmed. And given his recent behavior, they don't know if he's trolling or if something more serious and sinister is going on. You know, Ryan, as I stated during his, uh, his previous press circumstance where the fight was being announced between the two where he shoved Devin and ran away and cameras caught it salute to Fight Hub TV who aired that video Ryan seems to be more, one more for Hollywood than he does for the boxing ring and people are wondering is this all a, a charade the way he behaved at that second presser in California, where he was very monotone. Uh, he appeared to be maybe under the influence of something. And he has stated that he had been intoxicated and also indulging in chemicals. So what's really going on here? Is this young man openly trying to sabotage the promotion? Is it something that is another ploy by the influences of Floyd Mayweather? Because Ryan has talked about being aligned with Floyd. Either way you look at it, it's not really good for the sport of boxing. 
Lennox Lewis once said when he was on his path toward becoming undisputed champion of the heavyweight division, he wanted to rid the heavyweights of all the misfits in boxing. I only hope that a fighter like Devin Haney, whose career chosen path is something of the same, that he could get rid of the misfits that are around the divisions where he'll be competing because there's a lot of stagnant activity, a lot of dead fish in the water or sea, so to speak. And if he may be able to do this on April 20th with Garcia, it may be the beginning of something special. And that is if Garcia is able to make it to the end of this promotional date some people feel like he may pull out last minute be damned and it's a high probability so golden boy has put themselves in a position to hire an extra gun just in the event that things don't go smoothly through this promotional process with ryan garcia but is this something that we really want in the sport going forward? It remains to be seen, but I'm telling you that either way, the one who comes out on top here will have so much more gained as they go forward with momentum into their future. And I happen to believe that the fighter that will be will be Devin Haney. Regardless of what De Ryan Garcia is doing and the influences that he have outside the ring. But we still have to wait and see what happens. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what your thoughts are and what the possibilities may be to you about this promotion coming off and if Ryan will be able to live up to things. Peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe.